Today, we're talking about some seriously twisted characters who walk the thin line between hero and villain. We're talking about psychopathic killers. All right, let's talk about number 10 on our list. Kiri Haimura from Danside Bunri No Crime Edge. This dude might seem like your typical high schooler at first glance, but there's a dark and twisted side lurking beneath that carefree facade. Kiri's got this weird obsession with chopping people's hair, and it's not just any old scissors he's using. It's a pair of deadly sharp ones called Killing Goods. And get this, these scissors have been passed down through his family from none other than his infamous ancestor, Norma Grayland, a freaking serial killer who offed more than 200 people back in the day. Living with his grandpa, Kiri's got some seriously messed up family history. I mean, imagine being descended from someone who used to lure folks into their basement and slice their throats with a pair of scissors. That's some next-level twisted stuff right there. But Kiri's not just some run-of-the-mill weirdo. He's got layers, man. He's eccentric, reacts to stuff in the most bizarre ways, and has this whole enigmatic vibe going on. Plus, he's the only one who can tame the wild mane of his classmate Ai Wei with his deadly shears. So yeah, Kiri Hamura might seem like your average Joe on the surface, but underneath it all, he's one hella a complex character with a seriously messed up family tree. Kiri may have seemed reluctant to accept murder at first, but his conversations with Iwai Mashana Koji and his struggles showed him that he, too, can be violent. On No. 9, it's Yuji Kazami from Grisaya no Kajutsu. Yuji's not your run-of-the-mill high schooler. Nah, he's got a past that would make your head spin. They call him the janitor of hell, but deep down, he's just a dude trying to make it through the day like the rest of us. Sure, he might seem cool and collected on the surface, but inside, he's dealing with some serious inner demons. Number 8 is from Satsuriku no Tenshinanime, and his name is Rachel Gardner. This girl's been through the ringer, let me tell you. Rachel's childhood was a real nightmare. She grew up without a family, bouncing around from one crappy situation to another as an orphan. And if that wasn't bad enough, she had to deal with some serious neglect and abuse from her parents. That kind of stuff leaves scars, you know, not just on the outside, but deep down in your soul. To survive, Rachel had to toughen up real quick. She became this emotionally distant, logical thinker, always keeping her guard up to protect herself from the world's cruelty. And hey, can you blame her? When you've been through as much crap as she has, you learn pretty fast not to trust anyone. So Rachel's not exactly what you'd call a people person. She keeps to herself, avoids getting too close to anyone, and can come off as downright cold at times. But hey, can you blame her? She's been through hell and back, and she's not about to let her guard down for anyone. But then she gets tangled up with Zack, a real piece of work who's got her locked up in some creepy place. Talk about adding insult to injury, right? But even in the face of all that, Rachel's not about to roll over and play dead. Nope, she's got survival instincts like you wouldn't believe, and she's not afraid to use them. So yeah, Rachel Gardner might seem like a bit of an enigma, but underneath that tough exterior lies a girl who's just trying to make it through this messed up world in one piece. Next up is Angelo Lagusa from 91 Days. This dude's got vengeance on the brain, and he's not about to let anything stand in his way. Angelo, also known as Avilio Bruno, has one hell of a backstory. See, his family got caught up in some serious mafia drama, and let's just say things didn't end well for them. After watching his loved ones get gunned down by the Vanetti Mafia, Angelo's out for blood. This guy's got a steely determination like you wouldn't believe. He's calm, cool, and collected, but underneath that composed exterior, there's a burning fire of rage driving him forward. He'll do whatever it takes to infiltrate the organization that ruined his life and bring them down from the inside. And let me tell you, Angelo's no slouch when it comes to playing the game. Ikiru Inyashiki, the sixth character, appeared in the anim series Inyashiki. This guy's got one heck of a story, let me tell you. So Ikiru's just your average elderly dude, minding his own business when B.A.M. Out of nowhere, he gets zapped by some extraterrestrial tech, and next thing he knows, he's been transformed into a freaking cyborg with superhuman abilities. At first, Ikiru's totally freaked out by this whole cyborg situation. I mean, who wouldn't be? But as he starts to come to terms with his new powers, he realizes that he's got a choice to make. 
Number five is Yujo Senki from Tanya Dekker Chop Anam. Tanya's not your average little girl. Nope, she's been artificially created and thrust into a world of magical mayhem where she quickly earns the nickname Devil on the Rhine. And let me tell you, that nickname ain't just for show. On the surface, Tanya might seem like your typical cute kid, but don't let that fool you. This girl's got a heart as cold as ice and a mind sharper than any blade. She's dangerous, cunning, and absolutely relentless when it comes to achieving her goals. See, Tanya's got this extraordinary ability to calculate, to plan, to manipulate. She can harness the power of magic like nobody's business, using it to bend the world to her will. And let me tell you, she's not afraid to get her hands dirty to get what she wants. Throughout the series, Tanya is portrayed as this unstoppable force, a heroine with a dark edge. All right, let's talk about number four, Revy from Black Lagoon. This chick's a force to be reckoned with. Revy's a member of the Lagoon Company, a baddest pirate gang operating out of the lawless city of Ronapur. She goes by the name Rebecca Lee, but don't let that fool you. This girl's got a reputation that precedes her, See, Reeves had a rough go of it. Her past is filled with tragedy and rage, and she's notorious for her brutal approach to taking down enemies. I'm talking savage killer levels of brutality here. Folks never steer clear of her, whether they're friend or foe, cause crossing paths with Revy is never a good idea. But underneath that tough exterior lies a complicated soul. Reeves constantly wrestling with her past traumas and the ethics of her line of work. In third position, we have 9 and 12, also known as Arata Kokono and Toji Hisami from Zanku no Terror Anim. These kids are something else. Arata Kokono, Aka 9, and Toji Hisami, Aka 12, are two children who've been through hell and back. See, they were test subjects in some shady government experiment, and let's just say it didn't exactly end well for them. Under the alias Sphinx, they hatch a plan to carry out a series of assassinations in Tokyo, all in the name of uncovering the truth about the experiment and getting revenge for the hell they've been through. And let me tell you, they're not messing around. These kids are like ghosts, slipping through the cracks of law enforcement with their icy intelligence and top-notch tech skills. They're always one step ahead, using their smarts and strategy to stay one step ahead of the game. But what really sets 9 and 12 apart is their unwavering commitment to their mission. They're not just out for revenge, they're out to uncover the truth and make those responsible pay. And even when things get tough, they never waver in their dedication to the cause. The second place goes to Lelouch by Britannia from Encode Geese Anna. Lelouch, also known as Lil Chlamperuge, is no ordinary prince. Nah, he's a rebel with a cause, fighting against the oppressive rulers of his homeland, the Britannia Kingdom. And let me tell you, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty to achieve his goals. With the power of peace, a gift that grants him the ability of perfect obedience, as well as his unmatched intelligence and charisma, Liluch leads a rebellion against Britannia that shakes the very foundations of society. He's a master strategist, always ten steps ahead of his enemies, and he's not afraid to make the tough choices to achieve victory. But what really sets Liluch apart is his moral complexity. See, he's not your typical hero. He's willing to sacrifice everything, even his own humanity, to accomplish his objectives. It's this inner conflict, this struggle between his desire for justice and the sacrifices he's willing to make, that makes him one of the most intriguing protagonists in the show. Now it's time for the number one character. He is Kenzu from the monster deer Tema Anam. Kenzu's a successful neurosurgeon, living the dream, until he crosses paths with Johan, a psychopath and murderer who turns his world upside down. Suddenly, everything Kenzu thought he knew about justice and morality gets called into question. As Kenzu delves deeper into Johan's twisted narrative, he finds himself grappling with the very nature of right and wrong. He's a man of peace and compassion, driven by a relentless pursuit of justice, even if it means putting himself in harm's way. Throughout the series, Kenzu's portrayed as this incredibly responsible guy, always striving to do the right thing even when the odds are stacked against him. But what sets him apart is his inner struggle, his constant battle against the darker aspects of himself. See, Kenzu's not just your average hero. He's a character with complex moral dimensions, someone who's constantly wrestling with his own demons. 